Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. We are here at radio station K0MO, The Voice of Port St. Lucie, Florida. And here is Manny. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my chat. This is Manny, K0MO. And uh, I welcome all you to my shack and thank you for watching. Disco lights. All right, so here's, here's a little tour of Manny's shack. He's going to show us how he powers up his special radio, the Anon 100B as Bravo, 100 Bravo. The first thing I do is turning this. Interesting setup there. They got the power inverters, DC power. And then I turn on the Anand. Sorry for the lighting here. We He and likes to have his shack dark, so. Uh, turn on the fan. There we go. He has yeah. a fan here on top. The amplifier. Okay. RF kit, RF2KS. He has an amplifier, it's the RF2KS, awesome. And then I come here, I start the TDS application. What we're hearing is his uh, Kenwood TS450. So let me turn this off and then change and switch antenna to the antenna. All right. So now I, with the MIDI controller interface, I have it configured to control the the NAND with true Tetis, and then I just turn it on. Let's read the volume. And let's change to to the ten band, meters. Ten meters. Ten meters is uh, happening this morning. Yeah. So let's do something here. About eleven hundred watts into a uh, AR. Nine. CQ calling CQ ten meters from kilowatt whiskey number two whiskey. KW2W. So next what I do is of course it's starting on 28456. BNC. There's an amplifier. Yeah. It's just a remote remote display. Yes, so I just lay down the the display where it goes here. And then I turn on the LP100 Alpha interface. And, and then OBS Studio. So I have this view here, the general view, which you know, get everything, and then I have the window view, which is just getting the pan adapter. So if I start recording, for example, you see I just record the the the, the window. If not, I record the whole thing. Let's oh, I see what you're saying is when you're doing your your recordings, yeah. you're just only recording this window here, correct? The, yes, okay. I'm recording this, so I can do stuff here. And you don't, and my uh, viewers doesn't have, they don't have to see the whole thing that uh, the, what I'm trying to show here. And then I can zoom in with this interface, it allows me to control the, the radio, TDS, completely, you know, from this interface. I can adjust the EGC, you see the zoom, and change the BFR frequency. You're using the uh, Behringer MIDI interface. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. Kilo six alpha Florida whiskey. And then I can use uh, different ways to to modulate the audio. Let's change frequency to a. There nobody's here. So I use uh, I can use actually the Soundcraft. 
Oh yeah, let's take a look at the Soundcraft. Yeah. This is the Soundcraft UI24R. Now we're going to start the the microphone. So let me bring this. Yeah. Uh, the Rode arm. What kind of mic are you using there? Is this is a, um, a condenser microphone, a studio condenser microphone? Okay. You know the brand? Yes, it's a, a Stellar X2. Okay. Okay. So right now I'm going to I'm going to use the Soundcraft to modulate the signal. So I don't know if you're I going to hear it. Is it any other frequency? frequency? Is this frequency in use? Okay, it's your remote. Testing now. Okay, it's your remote. Using the Soundgraph UI24R. And now I'm going to change to the DAW. Okay. So, but first, if I change now, is there's no audio because I need to start it. So, we're going to go to the my DAW, which is this one. I have. To, I, I now choose a profile. It, which is for a ESSV, very very nice and smooth. Looks like it's Ableton Ableton Live. Yeah, that is the name. So Sweet. it's a Ableton Live 11 Suite. So it's starting up. So I'm going to go back to the Soundcraft. This, this is the Soundcraft. This, this is how my voice sound, sound through the Soundcraft. Soundcraft. There's, there's a little bit of feedback because uh, I'm too close to the speaker, you know, the mic is too, too close to the speaker. So what I'm going to do now, this is the, you see here the meters and the enable to light the DW. You follow my, my voice, you see. So now I'm going to, these are the, the different plugins I'm using here. So it's like a stack of uh, audio processing chain plugins. So I'm going to just uh, minimize this for now. And I'm going to change to the DAW now. You see, if it's probably it's not too much different, but it's, it's a different way to to modulate the the ESLV audio. So I'm going to change now. Okay, now I'm using the DAW. Maybe we notice a difference there. You know, it's more sound more more professional. Maybe I don't know. So this is a K0 mode from Port St. Lucie, Florida, using the DAW via Ableton Live 11 suite. And now, this is via with plugins, using uh, FX plugins. And now, when I change to the Soundcraft, uh, I'm using DSP, the power of DSP. So you can actually use uh, different ways like, to process your audio, like, uh, you can use the, in this case, the, the equalizer, like different, you know, forms to do it. And then, what's so special about your shack? It's special. What I mean by special, to eliminate RFI yeah. or to not eliminate. You're not going to totally eliminate, but you're yeah. trying to reduce, minimize. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Okay. I use toroids, I use uh, ferrite by beads, you know, like here in the outputs of the, you know, the radio, the antennas, you know, everywhere, in the amplifier, you see. I use a ground, ground connection. In, in the computer, on behind, you know, on the back of the computer, I also use ferrite bead on the, at the USB, you know, connections. Oh okay. I don't I don't need to use here and the after the mic necessarily because remember the XLR input is balanced. So it, because it's balanced, it eliminates you know like cancels the interference. But it still, if you you feel comfortable, you still can use it. You know. Uh, yeah, you try to protect as much as possible. You know your station with ferrite toroids. You know like to prevent RFI. And the other thing I use on my antenna is like uh, I'm using like uh, a halfway um, uh, off-center off fed uh, dipole. So I'm using like four to one balloon. Uh -huh. So these kinds of antenna because they're off-center and they're, 
you know, uh, use the harmonics, you know, for it's a multiband antenna. So mm -hmm. they're very tend to like radiate. So RFI, you know. So what you use after, what I use after the balloon is a common shock mode uh, one to one balloon. One to one. Did you In make me, that? Did yeah. You make that no, no. I I I got it from a, a balloon design. Balloon design. Yeah. Oh, okay. So actually, the balloon is from them also. The four to one balloon is a five K W double stack core mm -hmm. a balloon. Five K W. Wow. That's, that's, yeah, that's and massive. The, and yeah, and the same for for the coming choke uh, one to one. Yeah, I, uh, I run balloon. the same thing. Matter of fact, yeah. in my my station in Texas. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I was getting at, what I do, and I like how you did it here. What I was telling the my viewers, you see this here on the left hand side. What I was getting at is there's no RF in this side. This is basically his computer setup. The audio stuff. This is his audio stack. It's totally separated from his RF stack. So my antenna, as I told you, is like four to one balloon. Then the after immediately after that, I connected the common shock mode to one to one balloon to prevent the coax to radiate because it goes vertically to the antenna. And so that way you, it, it's not radiating, you know? And also it prevents RFI on my shack, especially you use that for, for the, I recommend that to be used with this kind of end fed or off-center fed antennas. The one that uh, produce harmonics, you know, frequency that you can use multiband in different bands, you know? So, okay, the other thing, uh, uh, you asked me, I think, about this. Yeah, I had a question. Look, look down here, guys. He, he has a, a deep cycle. Can I move this cover? Sure. All right, check this out, guys. This is, this is very interesting. That looks like a marine battery. That's like a deep cycle marine battery. He has a, a voltmeter here that's connected to the battery. Can you explain me this setup? This is, this is uh, very interesting. And why did you do this? Yeah, in case of, you know, here in Florida we have uh, several uh, uh, storms, hurricanes, sometimes the electricity could go out for even days, right? So it doesn't happen too often lately, but still it's a good thing, like uh, just in case a transient, a transient like uh, outage, you know, uh, you're protected, uh, so now everything goes down, you know. So what I do, this is uh, basically this battery feeds the the inverter here, the pure sine wave inverter. So this converts the 12 volts or 3.8 to 110 volts. So to this, I is using this on the on the bottom. You see like this uh, sw is a switch, uh, like the, the the switch automatically. I mean, will like like switch to, from in case the the grid go off, it will switch to the inverter to the battery. So it will feed. Uh, all, all, all my my check, all the computers, the everything, including the radio. So actually, have here the power 75 amps uh, power supply. So this always like charging the battery, and also help with the. Uh, it's like a, the radio power supply also. So of course the RF kit, RF 2KS. Uh, this is a legal limit solid state LDMOS amplifier. So it needs, uh, of course it can work with 110 volt, but it's recommended to work with 240. So what I installed here, you see here is the, this outlet is a 200, 240 volts outlet. So that's how I use the RF kit, I, I use it with 240. Good evening, this is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. with K0MO from Florida, South Florida, USA. This is K0MO. Let me change profile so you can compare. So you're going to compare, you tell me which one you like the most. This one is through the Soundcraft, using the Soundcraft UI24R. K0 remote testing audio and then this one is the DAW profile, DAW profile using Ableton Live 11 suite K0 remote testing audio. Like to try it? 
All right, this is N4 VFR, and we're using the DAW with the Ableton Live. Very good. All right, N4 VFR, now using the Soundcraft UI 24R, and that's being processed through that, and your Thetis profile, N4 VFR. Well, Manny, it was nice to come over here. Thank you for inviting me over to your place. It's nice to have a, a image of the person that you're talking to while you're on the radio. So next time when we talk on the frequency, I say, hey, that's my good friend, Manny. <laughs> and then now I know how you look like this. He's a good looking guy. So I really <laughs> appreciate it very much. Yes. Same, hey, Darren, it has been a pleasure to host you here my friend and yes I uh, also know you in person you know I'm really guys uh, really uh, happy to have him and you uh, his subscriber with in my chat this is Manny K. Zirmo from Florida thank you Darren yeah you're welcome I enjoyed the time here being here in South Florida hey guys if you're new to my channel Please subscribe to my channel and also Manny. He, he's also a YouTuber. He does a lot of uh, recordings and very good audio. Look him up on YouTube, K0MO. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR73s and we'll see you in the next video.